And uh, we have to talk about the idea of uh, well, what happened to the franchise after Tokyo Drift. You stayed with it, obviously, and it just grew and grew. I think a lot of the core themes that that are introduced or expanded on, and synthesized really in Tokyo Drift, are what became uh, symbolic in the rest of the franchise. The ideas of family, not just. Uh, you know, not just the machismo and seriousness of the first movie and not the fun campiness of the second movie, but kind of a, a happy balance between all of that. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, it was, uh, again, it was like, there's certain things that I, I'm very proud of, uh, aside from just kind of being able to be a part of these films. Um, but I, I remember coming in, and they, again, I, I don't want to bore you guys with these, you know, they do these test screenings, and it's crazy. You know, Fast and Furious at, at the point when we came in, you know, it was like 90, you know, 90% male and it, there was no female. And I remember uh, sitting there for Fast Five and Six, it was the first time that it tested higher with female than, than male. And that was something that I think we we're all very proud of, you know. And, and, and I think it's, it's not, it wasn't any agenda. It was just trying to kind of humanize and kind of hopefully care about these characters and, and, and create hopefully a mythology. And <laughs>